Hi guys, welcome to 31 Days of Tarot, day four. Um, this prompt is my top five tarot books that I purchased in 2018. I did not purchase any tarot books in 2018. I think I purchased more spiritual related books. Um, I know that, um, and I don't even have all of my books here because some of them are still in, um, they're still in, <laughs> <laughs> in boxes. I know Material Girl Mystical World was one of them that I purchased. This one um is actually pretty good. Um <clears throat> a lot of my tarot books, I mean my astrology books, uh my newer ones, like I said, they're still in a box and I don't have I don't plan on unboxing most of them because I just don't have space and I don't want to clutter my space. But I wanted to show you my top tarot book. This is the one, 78 Degrees of Wisdom. This is the one that I learned um, how to read the cards with. This is the, this is literally the book that I studied with. So let's take it over here to the carpet. <laughs> um, 78 Degrees of Wisdom. This is the book that I always recommend to people who ask me what tarot book should I use when I'm learning the tarot. Um, there's a billion other tarot books out there that are really, really good that I would recommend. Um, like tarot and astrology is cool if you want to look at tarot with, um, you know, with astrology and whatnot. Even like guidebooks, like the wizard's tarot, the witch's tarot. Um, those are really good guidebooks too. But this one, I don't know. I mean, it just, it just really did it for me. So it goes through each card. Um, it'll tell you, and, and please excuse my ugly nails. <laughs> um, it goes through each card and it'll give you like so much information. I mean, it'll talk about like the sun. It'll talk about all of the symbols. It'll talk about, you know, like it'll, it really dissects the card. Um, and I have just found that this book, as you can see, it is very much well loved. I have gone through everything. This is, I studied this book, you guys. I would sit in my lunch breaks at work and just read it and highlight it. Um, you could still find it at Barnes and Noble. So, um, you know, check it out. But I, I'm not big on buying tarot books, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I have everything that I need in that book, um, as well as like, as well as like, um, the guidebooks that come with some of the decks. Um, and then I also feel like I'm at that point right now where I have such a good understanding of the tarot. I don't really need to buy tarot books, um, unless it's something different. Like I said, like tarot and astrology or the tarot and chakras or tarot diva is really cool because she has like recipes and stuff in there and just like kind of cool tidbits um i would buy a, a tarot book like that but um as far as just buying a book of tarot like how to read tarot or just der definitions i don't feel the net the need to do that anymore so I didn't purchase anything in 2018 and I don't plan on purchasing anything anytime soon. So, um, <laughs> so I guess the only one that I have to talk about is 78 Degrees of Wisdom by Rachel Pollack. It is definitely the tarot Bible in my opinion. Um, but yeah, there it is. And I will catch with you, talk with you guys tomorrow for day five. Bye loves.